Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week, well, we're going back up to North Dakota. North Dakota, the Double Brants, B Outfitters, one of our David, favorite places. David, John, Susie, I mean everybody. We just, we love it up there. It's, it's like just incredible. Family. You it go is. up there and you just feel like you're at home. Yep, and, and I feel like I'm in land of the giants. And, well, because there's big white tails. The, the deer and the brants. Yeah. Hi, David. How are you? And his, hands, Ralph, like, how his are you? hands are like that big. Yes. Yeah, and John. Huge. Hey, Ralph, what are you doing? Yeah, it's kind of fun. This week's lucky logo is Zeiss. Oh, man. Get clear. See forever with Zeiss. Watch the logo. I'll tell you at the end of the show what to do with that. And I think we should just start going because we have some great white tail footage. And I did really good. Out of our ground blinds. That's what's so cool about this place. It oh. is. Let's go. Double B. It's the middle of October, and we know after all the big trips, we're heading to North Dakota, and we're going to be sitting in some ground blinds and waiting on those big North Dakota bucks. We got into camp, said hi to David, Susie, and John, and all the fun just starts to begin. I mean, you know what's really great about North Dakota is every time we come here, David and John, all they do is torment Ralph like that's something new. No. Well, you only have two weeks left, right? That's all. Yep. This the hardest two. Oh my <laughs> gosh, man. Because Ralph and Tom are in camp, yeah, right. is that why? I'm not too worried about Tom. <laughs> <laughs> the troublemaker. Because I listen and keep my head down. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do I do? What do I do? I got a text and it said, hey, if you got a deer decoy, yeah. bring it. Yeah. What, why, you just want to run it over? Or, <laughs> I want to show you it doesn't work. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no matter where we go, everybody picks on me. And I'm pretty used to it. And especially with the brands and David. And well, as you all know, I give it back. Hey, Daddy! <laughs> Tom, come on now. You're up to bat. Get it? Don't you turn that light on. I'll shove that little camera up so far up the You're gonna think you're in Canada. <laughs> Last year, I actually shot my buck on the very first night. I didn't do that this time. I waited till day two. <laughs> All right, it's time to get out. Second night here at Double B. Okay. Wow. I've got too much clothes on. It's hot in here. It's like 68 degrees outside. It is extremely windy. The leaves are blowing like crazy out there. The water on the lakes look like we should be at an ocean. It's blowing so hard out there. But we got out here early today. It's 3.40, so we have a long sit. I'm gonna grab my gloves, my book, my release. Perfect. Let's go fix it. We got out to our blind, we got set up, and it wasn't 30 minutes we had our first doe come through. We had a spike come through about 30 minutes after that. And then all of a sudden, it was like the floodgates opened. Some of the deer were pretty nervous. It, the wind was howling outside, and I'm pretty sure that that's what the problem was, because they were really skittish. The way we were set up, we're in the same area, but just a different type of blind that I actually hunted out of last year. The deer, they come straight, I mean, right next to the blind. Seriously, if I could put my hand out the side of the blind, I could have pet them as they went by.
car just came out. I saw a bunch of blood. Stop, 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 go down. He's going down. He's going down right there. He's right at the metro. He's down right there at the metro. He's at the metro. Outfitters in North Dakota. Oh, first whitetail season, first deer this deer season, first whitetail deer season. I got my new Hoyt Nitro. First time, first critter. That beautiful 10 point came in. I looked at him, looked at him, looked at him. I'm like, what are you thinking? I just, I had to wait from the beginning of the broadside shot. He gave me that shot. I did hit him a hair high, but I, he was at 10 yards, not making an excuse. I just watched him. He's right at the edge for over there, right by those trees. I watched him go down. Ralph and Tom, I don't know if they've got any activity going on or not, but I've got a buck down in North Dakota. He's a beautiful buck. Thank you. I shot a beautiful deer on your birthday. Yes, you did. <laughs> It's birthday present. You know? Yeah. Well, take a little stress out of you for you, right? Because I know how much you hate that stress. <laughs> that stress. So, well, he is beautiful. This is the second day here at Double B Outfitters with David and John Brandt. And you know, we've had a crazy fall and there's a lot of things, busy schedules and everything. And this is one hunt that I don't ever want to miss. When I heard that Vicky had shot a buck and it was, you know, like right away, I'm thinking, oh no, it's gonna be a good one. Vicky got her buck. Oh, and I see Tyne sticking out. Oh. And he pretty? It's a, it's a double B buck right there. It is a double B buck. <laughs> and he pretty? Yeah. Isn't he beautiful? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. In my head, this is what I have. I'm like, three and a half? Is he three and a half? Is he four and a half? Is he three and a half? So I kept passing back and forth. And then I go, then I remember David telling Ralph, who cares about the size of the body? And I'm like, oh. And then he went, he was walking. And I never had a shot at that point anyways, because he was always facing us. But all this was going on in my head. And then finally he goes and he walks and he stops and he goes like this and he looks straight at me. I was like, oh, okay. Just turn broadside, turn broadside, turn broadside. Day two, I'm tagged out. We brought two vehicles up here. I'm heading home. Hopefully, Ralph and Tom, the boys, can get it done, fill their tags while I'm gone. I mean, you know, someone had to show them how to get it done. I did that, but I am heading home tomorrow morning because I'm going to go spend some time with RJ. I'll tell you right now, we've seen a lot of deer. We're just, uh, we're holding off. We'll see what happens. You know what, Vicky shot a monster, 160, and... I just gotta find one 161, and I'll be happy. Uh, you know how long it took me to plant this stuff? For crying out loud. Oh, there it goes. It's about 10 grand worth of crop right here. 12,000. <laughs> 14. Well, we just got into our blind. It's real calm today. I wish it was windier. And uh, it's warm. We got our Zonics. We sprayed down. We've washed. We've got a south wind, which is good for us. Bedding area is over here to the right. Feeding is out in front. And we've got our new Spy Point Excel HD. And what's super cool about that is that thing's probably about 25 yards out to get a totally different angle and it allows us to get some really cool video stuff in the field with their remote, their wireless remote. The, one of the best things though for all of us who love filming is this thing has a, a power off mode which saves your battery. There is no action camera that we know of that you could put out in the field for an all day hunt. An all day hunt. Every year, around the same time, around that third week of, of October, as you know, 
we are starting to get into a pre-rut situation so we still have excellent success with the, the big mature bucks still feeding on their feet getting ready for the rut which allows us to get in the right positions always watching the wind and always listening to the brants and you know well making things happen you know we've been very fortunate to hunt with the brants at double b for so many years and it seems like you know you'll hear all oh, the deer are doing good the deer are doing bad you know in other places and no matter where we sat we saw so many young and up and coming potential great bucks they control the pressure you know the feeding the supplements all of these things have just really made double b probably one of the premier places to bull hunt white tailed deer anywhere we had a few deer come in but they were real skittish it's one thing that drives me crazy is sitting in a blind and you can't see. Like if Josh and I are in a blind and Josh can see from one angle, I can't see and you don't, you don't want to peek out or anything, oh my gosh, but it drives you crazy. And next thing you know is, you know, I'm like, Josh, Josh, yeah, there's a good buck coming in. And I'm like getting ready and I'm, I'm, I'm like, Josh, are you on him? I look, he's not on him, he's on the other buck. I mean, at, at least our XL, you know, got him coming in. That's some of the problems that you deal with when you have that many animals all around you. So you have to communicate. And when you do, and it all comes together, it's like that high five moment. One of the things that you deal with when you're in a more concentrated area, you really, really have to pay close attention to your shot. I'm not saying on, on you know, where your placement of your animal, that's, one, that's very important all the time. But secondly, if you pass through, what could it hit? I don't care, you know, over a food plot or, you know, whatever it is, is you'll have these deer moving in or any game, you know, moving in and out, in and out. And you, sometimes, well, if they hear a noise or they get nervous or whatever it may be, they're gone. is you don't make any sudden movements, create any, you know, disturbing noises. If everything goes in your favor, you're gonna slowly meander back and that's what happened on this hunt. Nothing but blood. Mm -hmm. Looks really good. Blood, blood, blood. Blood, 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 blood. Right here, here, here. There. There he is, guys. There he is. Big D. <laughs> Another North Dakota, baby. 
Oh, Lord, thank you so much. Look at him, David. Oh, I was wearing, okay. Look at this deer. <laughs> look at him, I'm falling apart here. Oh, look at that. This is simply why we come to Double B. Look at that deer. What a way to kick off the season. Oh my gosh. It's got a, oh yeah. Look at the mass of these deer. These guys just, not, not only do they have the, the, the genetics, they have, look, I mean, this is what you go to Canada. You've heard, remember years ago, you, you know, you talk about giant deer in Canada? Nah, giant deer here in North Dakota with double B. Year after year, I mean, they're just, they're putting these down and it's just, yes sir. I do it every year. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you guys. David and John, Brant and Susie, it just, look at this. Yes, yes. Thank you. That's why we go to Double B. I mean, North Dakota is a sleeper state. I still say it. And when yes. you can go, like we've done for the last 10, 12 years, go with the Brants and, and experience and whitetail deer hunting at probably some of the finest anywhere absolutely. in this they country. They know how to manage their property. They know how to make sure that they plant the right foods for them and everything like that. And it's awesome. It's just, we love them people yeah. out there. We awesome. do. And if you saw the lucky logo, which was Zeiss. <laughs> Zeiss, the ultimate in optics. You need to log on to archerschoice.com, click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information, and someone's going to want a new pair of Zeiss optics. How cool As is well that? as a bunch of other stuff. Wow, 15 years 15 of saying 15 years. That. You know, I mean, first off, we can't thank enough all of you viewers you know for for, for putting up with us for over 15 we've years we've been blessed we thank our sponsors who've supported us through all these years and as you know you know most of them we've been with them for 20 plus years and and without them this is impossible and most of all we thank god good lord above amen That's you know right. what i mean because for him to allow us to be stewards of his land and his animals and to experience what we've experienced and all we've asked is just that we have the opportunity and the privilege to share it with you so thank you guys for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on Hunt with Ralph and Vicky. Hunt with Ralph and Vicky, because next week's the choice.